Okay, uh, welcome guys. So, uh, this video, uh, let's solve this problem, uh, which is trivial, called 1 to the i. Okay, so i is an imaginary part. So, imaginary number, i squared is minus 1. Okay, so uh, this is, uh, yeah, so uh, one might think that the answer is, uh, the answer will be 1, right? Because you know that uh, 1, uh, your intuition tells you that any power of 1 is one right because i uh, for example one square is one one cube is one right and uh, you, you can easily show that uh yeah the reason is that uh, okay so let's see so the the sort of intuition will tell you that uh, one to i is one and uh, why because uh because what because if you believe so uh, you can easily show that uh, all the positive integer one to the n is one, right? Because one times anything will be a. So one times a will be a. So if a is one, a, if a is one, then uh, you get one square is one. Then easy to show that any positive integer uh, a to uh, one to the power n will be one. Okay, so by so you get uh, any negative integer uh, one to the negative n is one. And uh, you can also from this you get uh, one to the any rational number which is one. Okay, so uh, if you define that uh, the yeah, if you take the square root to be the you if you take the square root uh you take the the n roots of unity by only take the real part then the, you can easily show this is one, and uh you can easily guess that the one to any real power should be one. Okay. Okay, but uh, actually in a complex uh complex number that uh, anything only works for the only only works for a so-called prin uh, principal branch. Oh, so actually the answer uh, one to the any any uh, i should be written as a, you should view one as a exponential two pi i n, right? And the n is a, any integer, so depend on the property, depend on the branch. Okay, so actually this answer should be two pi i to the n times i. So it should be exponential negative two pi. Okay, so yeah, this is and for any n, yeah. So this is like a general answer. Okay, just some simple video. See you.